ready. This is Sunday morning with Charles Asgood. <laughs> <laughs> How soon they forget. And as years go by, the more memories we have to store, the more there is to sort out. I'll never forget what's his name. Ephemeral as memory may seem, there's some very good science exploring it. Our cover story is reported now by Russ Mitchell. I remember good things, bad things, and sad things pretty much. I remember that we had butterflies when I went to Paris. My dog. Whether six years old or any age beyond, as we embark on a new year, we almost can't help reflecting on the year we've left behind. I remember when my mom hurt her leg in the train station. So why do some moments stand out? I remember when I burnt my hands when I was three. Now I'm six. And others fade away. I don't remember my last year birthday party. Last year, when it was St. Patrick's Day. And even if your memory is good, is it ever accurate? Do you remember flying on a plane? No, my mom didn't vid videotape that. Who we are is our memories. Elizabeth Phelps is a research psychologist at New York University's Center for Neural Science. If you're trying to understand the human psyche, you have to understand, first and foremost, memory. I mean, it really is telling you everything about who we are. So we really are our memories. We are our memories, absolutely. <laughs> Memories make up our life stories, but experts say as the years go by and we change and develop, our recollections adjust with us, whether we know it or not. What do you remember? What do you remember? What do you remember? What do you remember? The children's game called Telephone played here by first graders at this elementary school in New York is commonly used by researchers to explain how memories evolve. What do you remember? All memories do tend to be very malleable. Uh, what happens is that there's a process of rehearsal. Dr. Pauline McHugh researches memory at the NYU School of Medicine's Brain Health Center. You know, you have a very significant memory, you tend to play it over and over in your head, and every time it can be changed and altered subtly depending on, on what your feelings were about it, what your, again, past experiences were, and, and it can end up oftentimes with the basic elements intact, but, but the color or the tenor of it being very, very different. what happened when, who was wearing what, who said what to whom at what time, that, that can be very different. What's the number? What's if our memories are constantly changing. Yeah. Sounds like people. My earliest memory was when I found out yesterday that I was going to be on TV. I was going to be on TV. Now, 